A smashing blast from the past. Developed by vicarious visions. It's Crash Bandicoot! Hey there, everybody. Sorry for the long wait here, guys, but I'm back. <clears throat> Welcome to Lesson 2. Of course, 303 of my school crash. I have an unfortunate update to make. Um, hold on one second. Let me check and see if my mic is on here. Right now, here, one second. Okay, there we go. Um, <clears throat> sorry about that. Um, Unfortunately, I didn't remember myself there to upload my previous lesson of my school crash, so unfortunately, lesson one there could not be uploaded there. Um, so unfortunately, no archives will be on that there, but I'll move forward. I'll press <coughs> press on there with lesson two. Um, basically, the main points you need to gather from my previous lesson of uh, crash um, uh, from the... Um, uh, from lesson one of my school crash is that <clears throat> the non-regular levels of uh, when you first go through the first sets of levels first set of levels the first time there for um, Crash Bandicoot 3 you could do the relics there and try and shoot for gold or platinum uh, relics basically um, and most of the gems you can uh, already collect here and you know um, um, there are enough non-standard levels there to where you can get um, basically enough relics to collect all the colored gems, okay, in your first playthrough of uh, Crash Bandicoot 1, which I'll keep covering over <clears throat> here at the time, at the times here through this episode. Um, we stopped um, into stage, into stage 4. Where we were playing as Coco there in that stage here, okay guys? So we're gonna get right back into it here. This will be standard two hour lesson, just like last time, and I'll make sure to upload the broadcast after the stream is done before I ho host y'all to my appropriate channel that I announce. Okay guys? <clears throat> after the stream is done. So, let's get into it here right now. And if, um, if I get enough requests there to do Course 303 of my School of Crash, uh, I'll do it again. Um, and just basically go do it as a, like a, re -re a review. Alright? But here we go. <clears throat> I'll do that on a later Twitter poll there. It won't be Follow Up Friday though. Alright, but here we go into Crash Bandicoot Warp. And of course when we get done with the School of Crash here, folks, um, <laughs> We will uh, go back into Horizon Zero Dawn. Now, remember from my first playthrough of Horizon, since I did not um, know how to upload um, my previous broadcast of Horizon the first time around, um, I'll keep doing the YouTube uploads on them there. Uh, but I will do a New Game Plus playthrough uh, after another game that I want to stream is done there. Too, okay, and I'll make that announcement uh, when I do the new game plus or the higher difficulty new game there, really, um, afterwards, okay? So that, but as for now, here we're gonna go into Coco. We've already got the, um, the gold relic for this level, Bye Bye Glimpse, and uh, really, in Bye Bye Glimpse, um, you want to. Um, 
you want to basically just start shooting um, without losing line of any of any of the targets that you need to take down. All right, but before we get into the next set of levels, um, I'm gonna go ahead and let Coco get into hanging high, since we already have enough relics to get that special gem. <clears throat> into it. Like I said, She's not tall enough there to get those bumper fruit. spot there um, I do think there is a level that we can go back to there with that uh, yellow gem in hand there that we haven't gotten a gem for yet I just need to recall which one I think it was the dinosaur level on the third stage We're going to go back to Dynamite here as Coco. And we're going to uh, get both gems here since we've got the uh, yellow gem already because that is needed.
All right. <clears throat> There's a reason that I went and got those boxes up ahead, folks. And you're about to see that in just a moment. Generally, want to be, <clears throat> you know, like outside. I would say it's probably about an eighth, eighth screen distance from those boxes, so you don't get caught up in the blast radius, folks. now so we're pretty close here to reaching our PS1 run. reason why I went over that folks. Check this out. Ta -da! Unfortunately though I am not sure if there's okay there is a way to get on top <laughs> but as you can see invisible wall there so you can't go any further. <laughs> 